so that's what I woke up to today the motor was weak and it's just not sounding right so I can't put it off any longer especially with this stuff outside here so I'm gonna need all the power that I can get out of the motor and it's just it's not right so commutator has to be done today where is it on this actually it looks like it's on this side So the brush is hitting like that, which tells me it's not making full contact, and chances are it is definitely arcing. So let's get my drill lathe set up. I am not, 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 I am not a licensed mobility scooter technician. So I strongly suggest you don't do the things that I do. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> There it is guys, all nice and smooth, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. My drill lathe was successful, I don't know if I have to shake this or not but I'm going to. Oh. 
That was actually easier than I expected it to be. Woof, woof, woof. Right there. Perfect. I should at least get rid of the electrical fire smell. Yeah, hopefully work properly. down should be just like that I hope I never have to take it apart again. Guys, if that doesn't solve the problem, I don't know what else to do. Oh, my leg is asleep. fender on whether it's fixed or not that's all I can really do so I might as well put the fender on and call it complete test it yet because I'm in error code 7 <laughs> and of course as soon as I try to show you that see I just went in error and it'll come up as error code 7 
Okay, so that's working. I was going to do this next anyways. <laughs> Now's the time. There's nothing here that is bare. There's there's no wires hanging out. Nothing is pinched all the way down to the frame. The wires are good. There's no broken insulation anywhere. The only thing I can think of is this here again. It was in the back. Possibly it was pushing against the bolt there. Shorting on it. I don't know. But it should... Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Because this is the switch. This goes to my overhead light. So it, it one of these is going to be powered. Maybe that one. I don't know. So I repositioned it. I put it out front. Where if I turn or not. It's not going to touch anything. I don't know. I don't know what else to check. Because there is absolutely nothing here. That is bare. Nothing is touching anything. <laughs> like I say, this one here, that's that's for the switch that's not being used. There's no power in that, so that doesn't matter. The plugs. So this is why I can't test my actual throttle. <laughs> um, there's really nothing to test. Because I can't, I wouldn't even know where to put my my test leads. It's not a normal potentiometer. It's magnetic pickup. And my light's dying already. Yeah, this wire here that comes off the the relay because it's it's a a double throw relay. One side is connected, and then when I flip the switch, the other side is connected. So this wire is not connected, there's no power in it whatsoever. That much I know. But there's nothing. And I got two plugs here. They're just kind of sitting free. The monster came like that. I have no idea what they are for. So those are not an issue. I don't know what that is, that's the original monster plug as well. Oops. I don't like the way that sticks up like that because that puts stress on those little wires which kind of makes me wonder. But all the plugs are tight. I keep checking these but these are only for the signal lights that I put on. So that would only be an issue if those lights are on. Because these voltage regulators get their power directly from the lights when they're on. So even if there is an issue in there, 
it's not going to make any difference when the lights are off. Something, something somewhere, and I don't see anything else other than that one little spot right there, but I think I've taken care of that. I don't know what else to do here, guys. I don't know what else to do. As like I say, nothing in here is pinched. The insulation has not worn out. Sorry, I'm holding the flashlight in the camera with the same hand. Nothing in here, no insulation worn through. Anywhere in here. So, I don't know. I just, I hope it's, I hope it's up that connector. And I hope by moving it up there, I've solved the problem. I just don't know, guys. I don't know. So I'm going to put this back together and go for a test drive and see what happens. I hate when I can't find an actual problem because then I don't know if I solved it or not. <coughs>
there we have it guys that was <laughs> a nice fun trip I didn't have any issues whatsoever I even did a little bit of off-roading at the soccer fields there and the snow was pretty deep I went through it no problem whatsoever uh, even backing up uh, I didn't have any issues backing up until I got home <laughs> trying to back up that little incline but it's running good I don't smell anything. The motor seems happy. Um, this controller was the one that did 17 and 19. It started out slow, which it's supposed to. I don't have hyper mode anymore. So I'm guessing the hyper mode was caused by the arcing brushes. That problem is now solved. So no more hyper mode. I'm going to miss that. But, you know, I'd rather have it running properly than, you know, enjoy extra speed <laughs> but all is good um i'm not going to totally completely trust it yet because like i say i don't know what the problem was up front <clears throat> so i'm just going to hang off for a little bit and just kind of see how things go but the motor sounds good it sounds happy and like i say i don't smell any electrical fire anymore so i think that problem is solved so I don't see a black cloud up here anywhere. Hopefully it's gone now. And maybe I finally slayed the dragon. I guess time will tell. But I'm happy. Uh, I feel colder than I thought it was tonight. <laughs> I'm using my heated gloves. Yeah, I haven't turned them off yet because I'm going to go out and do a little bit of shoveling before I go in. <clears throat> just to help Zach out. Because we still got a couple more days of this crap. And I don't know how much more we're going to get. Uh, this is the most we've got yet. It's the third time we're supposed to get a foot of snow. And the other two times we only got a couple inches. So I wasn't expecting too much. Um, it's kind of, you know, most of our storms are overhyped now. So when it gets to the point where people are going to ignore the warnings. And then, <laughs> boom, there it is, right? So we have got... More next to, I'm not even sure how much is out there, probably four inches. But it is pretty windy, so it's it's drifting and it's piled up in some places. So I'm hoping I have this problem solved now. I'll find out in the next little while. And just kinda you know, keep my ears open, keep my nose open for burning smells, and hope I don't get any more errors. <laughs> I hope all my problems are solved until springtime. So, the biggest issue I'm going to have now is trying to turn because I've only got my street tires on the front. And there's no tread on them, they're just they're like slicks with grooves cut in them. So, not too easy to turn in the snow with those. But, I can't afford off road tires for the front this year. So, I'm going to have to go without for the winter and just kind of deal with it. Anyways, um, I'm happy. So far, I'm happy. <laughs> and I'm hoping I've got the problem solved. A bit of a dry throat. <clears throat> so, anyways, I gotta go do some shoveling. And I go in and do some computer work. <laughs>